I'm going to go to all customers and this is a list or a grid view in Dynamics 365. In here we have all the customers that are available in this environment. Under the view settings here I've created my own personal view here which will change the, the, the columns as well as filter the data to what I want to look at. Up in the top right hand corner I have the office icon. When I click on that it gives me the drop down. I'm going to first export this to Excel which becomes a standalone file of the filtered data that I've created. Right here is a preview of the file and I can choose to download or open it for editing. The other option here is to open in Excel. So we have open in Excel. I'm going to choose customers. What this does is opens the table set for editing in Excel. I'm going to download the file and open it in the Excel application on my local machine. When I enable editing, it refreshes the query, the data will populate into the grid. We can see that the grid is quite different from what we've seen on the screen. Because it's opening the table set, it's actually bringing in all possible columns for that data. You can see that the data is now refreshed, and if I wanted to do an edit on one of these customer names, or use this as a data entry vehicle, I'm going, to, you can. I'm going to change the name on this Sparrow Retail to just have my initials at the end instead of the number one. Once you're completed your edits and there are the data upload that you want to push back into the application, you click on publish and this will write back to the database. All right. I'm going to close my Excel now, not save it, and Close my browser version of Excel, go back to F and O. And I'm going to refresh the screen, watch this Sparrow retail. It's going to update to drop the one off the end of the name. That's how we can use the Excel, open in Excel for editing data.